Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about how to style a tweed jacket. So when it comes to a tweed jacket, tweed has had a bit of a revival over the last five or six years and uh, it's not uncommon to see people now wearing a tweed jacket. Even young lads are wearing tweed jackets along with chinos and other, other forms of trousers. And so this video is going to look at how to complement the tweed when you're pairing your items to go with it. For example, the tie, the pocket square and maybe the shirt to a degree, but also the trousers and the shoes that complements the pattern in the tweed jacket. Now, tweed comes in many different forms. You can have one where you have uh, a window pattern over uh, a base colour, as you see here. Um, you can have a Donegal tweed, which is very much like little dots of colour and a variation of colours. And also houndstooth patterns as well. And it's the houndstooth pattern we're going to dedicate today to mainly because of the colours in the jacket itself as part of the pattern and that gives us a good basis to look at pairing different looks to. Now when it comes to tweed, Donegal tweed um, and even if it's got a pattern it still has a variation of colours within it so the basic principle will still be the same although we're using the houndstooth jacket as the template for today's presentation. Now, when it comes to tweed, you can have additional things and additional features. For example, you might have leather um, patches on the elbows, as you see here. Um, and it all, it's all about that country vibe. Okay, Leather patches on the elbows had a function back in the day. It was to... When you'd worn a hole into your jacket, then you could have a patch put on or have a patch put on beforehand to give it more durability and less and more longevity because of the harsh wear on the elbows. So um, it's a feature that a lot of people now have on jackets purely for the aesthetics of having the leather patch or another material patched on. But it's another feature that really does go well if you want the overall look and the country feel. So when it comes to the tweed ensemble, um, I'm going to show you now the basic tweed and talk you through this particular jacket that we're going to use for the template. So here we have a tweed jacket. In this case, it's a houndstooth design in different colours. So for example, there's a burgundy colour in there. There's some light browns, some dark black or very dark greens, uh, some oranges in there, for example, like a burnt orange colour, as well as the burgundy. And that's all in the backdrop of essentially what is predominantly a sandy coloured backdrop. And so that's the idea is to pick out of those overlaying colours one or two, maybe three at the very most, different colours that you can incorporate into your ensemble. We're going to try different ensembles today. Um, I'm going to layer up this um, as a blank canvas and then we'll show you them actually on. And we can talk through each one in turn to give you a greater understanding of how we're matching and pairing our patterns and our design features with each ensemble. So for example here we've used some burgundy chinos and we've used a mid green tie with a pocket square that picks out some of the reds in it, the burgundies and a little bit of yellow which is picked up in the back accent of the jacket in the sandy colours. So all of those colours you'll find in the jacket so here we've got the tie as we described earlier along with the uh, shirt we're using a pale blue shirt with a slight white line through it 
and uh, picked up some of the colours in the pocket square. We've also paired that with a pair of uh, burgundy chinos and a pair of dark brown, chocolate brown coloured Oliver Sweeney chucker boots. Now here's an alternative look for this um, and because we've changed the chinos for a more uh, lighter colour similar to the accent in the jacket itself but we've kept the pocket square which has got some reds some blues in it and some golds it's quite a nice way of introducing a bit of colour in the tie in that we've got a red blue tie there with a gold stripe going through it and we've got a little crest going through that as well which gives a little pop of detail contrasting against the pattern in the actual jacket so as you can see we've gone for quite a preppy look here um, I've used a blue shirt but the actual shirt has a slight stripe going through it we've used those colors again in the uh, pocket square and the tie we've picked the colors up from the pocket square into the tie light colored uh, chinos with a pair of brown suede shoes so in this case we're now using the navy blue chinos uh, which goes quite well with the darker stripe going through the actual jacket. We've picked up some of the burgundy colours in the tie and in the actual pocket square. So here we are, we've used uh, an off-white uh, shirt, cream coloured shirt and uh, that fits in quite nicely with the backdrop of the jacket itself. Picked up some of the burgundy hues in the pocket square along with some of the blues. Paired that with a pair of navy blue chinos and a pair of burgundy oxford toe cap shoes. So in this look we've used some tobacco coloured chinos. Um, and that sort of mimics the sandy coloured background in the jacket but we've used a, a green tie with a red or brownie coloured uh, flower arrangement on the tie and tied in the almost uh, purple coloured pocket square that matches quite closely to the content of the flower arrangements on the tie and there's a nice contrast between the trousers and the jacket. So we paired that with an off-white shirt and a pair of tobacco trousers and with a nice pair of chestnut coloured uh, John White shoes. As you can see uh, we've picked up uh, some of those copper tones or uh, burnt orange tones in the tie itself and the tie has got a bit of chocolate colours in it as well which matches in with the dark brown colours in the actual uh, jacket itself and the pocket square have picked up some of the copper sort of burnt orange colours and the browns again in that as well. We've put with it to contrast a pair of uh, cavalry twill trousers. I have worn with this a yellow waistcoat um, which although it doesn't actually go exactly with this it has a an orange stripe going for it but also it does complement it really well so here we have the actual uh, ensemble on as you can see we've got the tie with the copper notes in it and the chocolate browns coming through into the uh, jacket using an off-white shirt as a blank canvas at the back and we're using some of those copper tones and chocolate cut notes in the pocket square itself and we've paired that with a pair of quite traditional cavalry twill fawn coloured tra uh, trousers and a pair of uh, John White shoes. Now this is very similar to the previous one where we were in the uh, dark blue chinos but we've introduced a burgundy tie this one's a knitted tie, so it gives it a bit more texture and uh, not a bad look. Along with the pocket square where we're using a paisley burgundy coloured pocket square, but it has some black accents to it. 
And of course, this is all picked up out of the burgundy stripes going through the actual jacket. So here is the uh, outfit on. And we've paired this with a grey gingham styled uh, check shirt. Um, light, but gives a little bit of substance. The knitted tie gives it a lot more uh, informality. We've picked up some of the colours in the pocket square and all these colours are linked into the jacket itself by the overlay in the jacket pattern. Paired that with a pair of dark blue chinos, but they could be easily another pair of trousers, but they go particularly well with that colour. And also paired it with a lovely pair of uh, Oliver Sweeney shoes. Burgundy knitted tie using a uh, grey gingham styled shirt uh, using some of the colours out of the tie in the pocket square along with some black hues in there. All this is picked up in the jacket and we've paired that with a pair of uh, navy blue trousers, uh, chinos in this case and paired that with a lovely pair of burgundy Oliver Sweeney shoes. So the video is not exhaustive, it's just to give you a few simple ideas to consider when you're looking at pairing your own jacket or your own tweed jacket or maybe even inspire you to go out and buy a jacket having seen this video. I would always recommend a tweed jacket is something essential to a man's or a gentleman's wardrobe uh, and it is something that goes really well with chinos, other forms of trousers, for example, it could be flannel trousers, cords, it could be uh, with, with jeans, it could be as simple as a pair of cavalry twill trousers. Um, it goes with a number of different looks and the trousers are in, predominantly in this video I used chinos but it's only really to demonstrate the colour and the injection of colour and the way we use it incorporating with the tie, the pocket square and picking out the colours in the jacket. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to subscribe then please feel free to do so. We love constructive comments so if you'd like to make one jot it down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We also have a Buy Me A Coffee page, so if you'd like to support the channel financially, then please feel free to make a contribution. Until next time, take care.